What is happening everybody? Welcome back to another video. We got some more exciting things on the channel. So you see behind me, we got another Tacoma. So by now you should know that we are gonna be building a four door first gen Tacoma and we need a donor truck for that because it's a pre-runner automatic and I wanna swap it to a five speed manual and I wanna do a four wheel drive swap. So I picked up this beauty of a Tacoma for all the parts, everything I'm gonna need is in this one truck. So let's check this thing out real quick. Here it is guys, the new beauty. So this is, I believe this is a 96. It's a V6, five speed and pretty rough shape. This thing was rolled, but luckily I don't need any body panels. So really why I wanted this truck in particular is because it's got locking hubs. And I know a lot of you guys know those are very, very hard to find in these Tacomas. They only came out from 96 to 2000 with the locking hubs. And honestly, very little of these trucks actually had locking hubs. So that is what I wanted. I want to do full mechanical locking hubs, mechanical transfer case, just eliminate a lot of the wiring. I've learned on the 4Runner that Toyota and their electronic four wheel drive systems really aren't the best. So we're going full mechanical, locking hubs, mechanical J-shift, transfer case. So that is gonna be the most simple and reliable four wheel drive system really in these Tacomas. I know I'm gonna get some questions on why I bought an entire truck just for the four wheel drive and transfer case and tranny. So buying an entire truck, if you can find a good deal on it, is gonna save so much money, so much time, and all the little pieces that you're gonna need, you know, even just little hardware that you're gonna need in the swap, I have every single nut and bolt, every part I could ever need to swap into that truck. So it's all right here. And I only paid $1,500 for this truck. I kind of priced it out a little bit. If I were to go to like a local junkyard and get used parts, you'd be well over two grand worth of parts just to do the four wheel drive and the transmission swap. So that in itself is gonna save money. Another good thing, what I have always liked to do and buying an entire vehicle for a donor is you can sell so many parts off it. And that is one reason why I wanna to get to work on this truck right now, taking parts off it before we actually start building the green truck because I have people wanting the motor, the axle, and a bunch of other parts on it. So I wanna get these parts sold, recoup some of that money, and I can pull everything I need for the swap, get it all cleaned up, painted, fixed up, whatever needs to be fixed on it. And then we can pull the four door in and just get swapping everything over. It's gonna make it that much easier. And if you guys need any parts, feel free to hit me up. I'll have my email address down in the description or you can message me on Instagram. If you guys see something you need, feel free to shoot me a message. So what I wanna get started with is getting the motor pulled out because I have somebody that wants this entire motor and selling the motor itself is gonna pay for almost half of what I paid for this entire truck. So wanna get the motor out, get that sold, and then we can start pulling all the suspension off. I got someone that wants a rear axle and rear leaf spring, so I gotta pull those. So let's make some room in the shop. We'll pull this truck in and get working on pulling the motor. I got her in the shop, so what we gotta get done, I think today, is get the motor out, get the tranny out. I wanna get the front diff, and I wanna leave this truck able to roll so I can roll it back out behind the shop where I don't need it, and it's not taking up space, and then I can kinda go through and pull off the spindles and the front suspension, pull out the rear axle and everything back there, just because I need my shop, and I don't want this thing sitting in here for you know weeks when I'm just pulling parts off it. So that's the game plan, get the motor tranny, basically get everything off that I need for my truck other than like, like I said, the suspension. So I'm still able to roll it.
There we go, boys, got the motor out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna save this wiring harness just in case I need some of it for my swap. So we got to pull the manifold off, get the whole wiring out of there. And then I'm going to be using, most likely gonna be using that flywheel. So I'm gonna pull that clutch and flywheel off and then we'll see if this guy wants the motor. But in the meantime, we got, I wanna pull the tranny, like I said, pull the front diff, get most of what I need out. I know I'm gonna use all the, the whole clutch system, so I'm gonna pull all that, and then obviously the pedal, everything inside, and stuff like the AC lines, and maybe some brake lines. I'm not sure exactly what I'll be needing. So we'll get to pulling that manifold off, get that wiring, and grab that flywheel, and then we can start ripping stuff out of here.
Well guys, this ends day one. So tranny is ready to come out 100%. We got drive lines off, shifters off. All we gotta do is pull the cross member and drop the tranny. So I'm gonna see if I can get Cameron or Devin over here tomorrow, help me with that. But we got the whole clutch system out and pulled some AC lines. All the other stuff that I thought I might need, a couple interior pieces. So we pulled all that out. Oh, I got the whole clutch uh, pedal assembly out too. So that was super simple. So actually, honestly surprised at how fast this thing's coming apart. I'm probably, I don't know, five hours deep into it. So next what we gotta do is get the tranny out and then I wanna pull the front diff. And then I'll probably, like I said, roll around back and then pull everything else back there because I don't want this thing sitting in the shop taking up space. Right, guys got the tranny out ready to go so that's about as far as i'm gonna go taking this thing apart in the shop so now i'm gonna go bring it around back get it on some blocks and i got a guy wanting some rear end stuff so i want to get the axle and leafs out and then i want to get the whole everything else i need up front that i need for my truck so that is cv axles spindles hubs all that good stuff so we'll get out there get this thing in the air and start pulling more parts All right guys, got this thing on some blocks. Should be sturdy enough. I gave it a good good uh, push here. Not moving too much, the ground's all soggy. So once it dries up, I'm sure that'll help. But what I'm gonna get going on is getting this axle and leaf springs out. So I already got these bolts loose and the shackles loose in the shop, but I can't get these U-bolts loose. So I'm gonna have to cut those. Those are extremely rusted and will not loosen. So I'm gonna get the generator out get me a cutoff wheel, snip them U bolts off, and axle should be out, and then we'll have to uh, take the bolts out for the leafs, and then we can pull the leafs out.
All right, it's a few weeks later now. I've been selling some parts, so this thing is almost stripped. I got all the suspension off that I needed. I'm not using the struts or anything. I got new ball joints. Um, engine bay is pretty well stripped as well. I do have some interior stuff left, kind of piled in there, but truck's coming apart and not much left of it. Now I just got a shop full of parts. So we got drive lines there. We got, got the motor sitting there. We got the tranny, front diff, the whole spindle, CV axles, and then I got a bunch more parts back here. Little miscellaneous stuff, the hubs, clutch pedal, uh, wiring harness, just in case I need some of those plugs off the harness. So what we gotta get going on in the next couple of videos is getting the stuff cleaned up. I'm going to go through the spindles. I'm gonna do new wheel bearings. Um, I bought new upper control arms, so, because I am doing a lift, I did buy the SPC arms. I'm going to gusset the spindles. Just go through powder coat stuff. Stuff like the diff and tranny. I'm just going to pressure wash up. Clean it as best I can. I'm not going to go through and strip the entire tranny apart and front diff to you know, coat it and paint it. We're going to see what we can do. Um, if I get it cleaned up enough, I might spray some paint on the uh, diff. But tranny... It's all aluminum, so I think I'm just going to clean it up, scrub it up as best I can. It's mostly hidden anyway, so I'm not really worried about getting it, you know, 100% mint. But either way, we got to go through all this stuff and get it all cleaned up. Also, these CV axles aren't really that expensive. They're like 75 bucks a piece from Napa, and I have the cores, so that's I'm, I'm not going to be anything on top of that. So instead of rebuilding these, and actually one of them has a bit of play anyway, so I think I'm just going to bring these in, swap them out for a new set of axles, just so I can start fresh. And honestly, to reboot these things is going to cost almost as much as buying new axles. So I'm just going to go through buy new axles and be done with it so i'm going to wrap this video up right here definitely stay tuned on the channel if you want to see everything we got to do to this stuff get it all rebuilt gusseting the spindles rebuilding the spindles redoing the wheel bearings all that good stuff so stay tuned new videos coming out very soon for that i really hope you guys enjoyed the video go smash that thumbs up button comment subscribe we'll see you in the next one